I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. How are you? If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe if you want to support my channel. Give this video a like. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So today I will be talking about how to stand out in front of college volleyball coaches. Now, this is not as hard as people make it out to be. It could be scary, yes, but it's actually not as hard as you think. So a little background about me is that I was a club volleyball coach and I used to go recruiting with my old college coach. So I know what coaches look for, I know what they look for in players, and I know when they will offer a player and when they won't. So first things first is ball control. Coaches look for ball control so much because they want to see if you can command the ball, if you have a good touch on the ball, and if you know what to do with the ball. So ball control is huge. You need to work on your ball control. If you don't have good ball control, work on it. If you don't work on anything else, work on your ball control. That is so important because they want to see if you're versatile. You need to have good ball control just period. That's just a one way to be a good volleyball player. It's just to have good ball control. I cannot stress that enough. Ball control. Next is volleyball IQ. You have to be smart with the ball. If a coach sees you do something extremely dumb with the ball, they're gonna be like, mm. if you're just swinging into the block every single time and you air a bunch, it's not gonna go well for you. Like, you need to be able to place the ball, shot, and make sure that you do not error more than you get kills. And say you're a setter, okay? Your volleyball IQ needs to be through the roof because you need to know who to get the ball to and when, why. You need to know everything, okay? So volleyball IQ is huge. Study the game, do your part, and know what you're doing. Next is to be coachable. So you need to be able to be a good listener and be able to receive critique. Now, you can't get your feelings hurt and be like, oh, I can't believe like she said this to me. Like She's being so mean, unfair, like no. Nine times out of 10, your coach is trying to help you and they're just putting it to you straight. At least they're giving you some kind of feedback. They could just not say anything to you at all and you would improve at all. Be able to receive a critique because you're not going to be perfect and you're not going to be a perfect player and you, everyone has places to improve, everyone. So if someone points that out, don't be mad and don't be like, oh, I can't believe that because coaches look for that. Next is to be a good teammate. This means high-fiving people, like patting people on the back, being there to cover, celebrating. Say like a ball lands in between two people. You don't wanna be like, ugh, that was your ball, like really? Like, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. Next is to have a, obviously some kind of skill level. That's just a given, I feel, but I feel like I would have to, I have to talk about that. Like you have to have some kind of skill level that sets you apart from people. Say you're a hitter and you just have the best line shot ever like that's one thing that you're really good at that's gonna get you noticed like say you have one thing that you're really really good at okay that's something that you need to capitalize on and show they want to see someone that knows when to go for the big kill and when to hit a shot that is huge in recruiting is knowing when and when not to do something next is effort so this applies to absolutely everyone so don't be lazy basically go for the ball die for the ball go all out like hit the floor like don't just stand there and be like oh next one like no 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 next you want to ivory kind of touched on this but a variety of shots i cannot trust this enough if you're a hitter you need to have shots like you cannot just have one shot and just be like, oh yeah, that's my power swing, like I'm just gonna hit that every single time. Because as you go up in age, like 15, 16, 17, college, you will become predictable. And those girls are just as good as you. So they're gonna pick up your hit, easy, easy money. So you need to have shots, line, cross, sharp cross, tip, like deep tip, everything. You need to learn how to have all the shots in your arsenal. Next is intensity. You wanna be like, yeah, and like celebrate and be like loud and be, not obnoxious but like you know put yourself out there be like let's go and all that stuff just be intense show that you're engaged in the game and that you're a competitor next is communication so you need to call the ball obviously you need to be loud and be like mine and like call for your hit like just show that you're vocal basically that also ties into intensity is show that you're vocal show that you're willing to scream your head off for the ball show that you want the ball and that also ties in with confidence you need to be confident in yourself if you're just like cowering back and be like oh like oh no like you're if, if you're unsure of yourself it's going to come across to everyone but especially coaches because they want someone who will command the court and will command their teammates and be a leader you need to have confidence and if you don't have confidence obviously that's okay fake it till you make it i live by that next you want to be a good person 
obviously the coaches don't want someone who's gonna be a problem because if they're offering them money that turns them into a liability coaches want someone who's a good person who has good values and that they won't cause any trouble on campus because that reflects negatively on the volleyball program so they don't want someone who's gonna tarnish their reputation essentially next is to be a good student this is so important as well you need to have good grades because if you can't get into the school as a normal student why would they want you to make sure that you're on top of your studying that you set aside time for that because once again when once you get to college it's not just about volleyball you are not there just to play volleyball you will be in class most of the time okay and then the rest of your tech free time you will be at volleyball there is no in between so take that into consideration and take care of your grades please next is punctuality be on time please just be on time next is professionalism so when you're contacting them when you're getting recruited or you're trying to get recruited and you email them or whatever you go up to them be professional don't be like oh my gosh i love you so much like this da -da 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 -da, like going on and on and on like no cut to the chase you want to market yourself and be like i'm this i'm this and this like here's my highlight video link boom next is technique this is obviously huge like you can't just be swinging your arms all over the place like that's a signal that you're not a good player like you could be great but you just don't have good technique so you need to learn how to have a good technique how to pass the ball properly how to set the ball properly and you'll be good lastly it's just potential if they see it in you like coaches have like the sixth sense i feel of just sensing when someone will grow into themselves and be a great candidate to be on their college team so honestly potential is just a huge thing sometimes you have it sometimes you don't and that's just the truth all right guys i really hope you like this video i really hope it was valuable and informative if you did like this video go ahead and give it a like subscribe to this channel if you want to support me and you can leave a comment down below you can dm me on instagram if you have any more questions comments concerns anything i am here to help and i'll see y'all in my next video bye